and it'll hold them on just about right there like that. And then you can put your shotguns in here. So as we drive around looking for quail, when we see one, we stop, we bail out, pull our shotgun out and go shoot. And then the rest of the time, we're not having to hold them in the cab and fight them. So, um, you got a ways to go. Ah, it's just welding in like two, pe three or four pieces and we're done. Like 30 minutes tops. But yeah, so that's what we're working on tonight. Um, I'll get it kind of mocked up and then I'll turn everything back on and show you what's going on there. So y'all stay tuned. Hour and a half least. <laughs> yeah, this is where we're going to put one hour later and we'll be in the same spot. Four so. hours later. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to work on that. It's, let's, here we go, here we go, here we go, all right. Hey guys, welcome to our video. So it's a, currently about 10.30 or so at night. We're leaving, not tomorrow morning, but the next morning to go quail hunting. And uh, right now I'm gonna be working on building a rack to store our ammunition and to hold our shotguns. Clance is working on painting some of his parts for his truck here. So this is the underside of his transmission tunnel. And then these are door hinges. This is a cover that's gonna go on part of his air conditioner system as well as this. So he's using a little Harbor Freight special there. Um, while most people would say, well, these are not ideal painting conditions, Cody. I know, but we're just, we do the best we can with what we got and the time we got. So. Um, they're going to be in spots, you know, the door hinges, you'll hardly ever see them unless the door is open. So that's why we're not really worried about, you know, making sure they're perfect. The underside of the transmission tunnel, unless you're on top of the transmission looking at it or you're working on the transmission, you're never going to see it. The top side, which we are going to paint also, you won't see it because it's going to be underneath carpet. So, um... So yeah, so all of this other, the rest of it's going to be against the firewall, so it's no big deal. Um, we're just going to do the best we can, get it coated tonight, and uh, let him, you know, just do the best he can with what he's got. So let me show you what I'm working on in here. <clears throat> so Can-Am Defender HD10. Um, I had one of these on my other buggy that we gave to Erica's grandpa when we got this one, but let me show you. So. This right here is Izzy. Hey, Izzy. She's in here just chilling out. So this is kind of like a little rack. And what's going to happen is right here, I'm probably going to end up cutting this off right here real quick with the plasma. And it's going to have about a two inch tall shelf in there that's going to be made out of some <coughs> angle iron and some flat plate that I've got over here. And then, oh, here comes mom. She's trying to slip up on me. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. But, um, oh, I'm going to hand this over to her and she can hold it. But um, here we go. So <clears throat> these are the racks that I built for my other buggy. And these are, I don't even remember the name of the company. There's some older gentleman that built these that makes these parts here. They're for like Navy clippers and stuff like that. So your gun... Yeah. I can't remember the name of it. It's wore off of there. I mean, they're five years old. Like you got them off the internet? Yeah, I ordered them off of some internet okay. site. But um, this rubber deal here, the butt of your gun sticks in there, and then the stock. Oh my gosh. The stock, uh, not the stock, but the barrel of your gun clamps in these rubber holders here. So the way this is going to work when I get finished, these will slide down into the front of the basket and it'll hold them on just about right there like that. And then you can put your shotguns in here. So as we drive around looking for quail, when we see one, we stop, we bail out, pull our shotgun out and go shoot. And then the rest of the time, we're not having to hold them in the cab and fight them. So, um, you got a ways to go. Ah, it's just welding in like two, three or four pieces and we're done. Like 30 minutes tops. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what we're working on tonight. Um, I'll get it kind of mocked up and then I'll turn everything back on and show you what's going on there. So y'all stay tuned. Hour and a half, please. <laughs> yeah, 
This is where we're going to put one hour later and we'll be in the same spot. Four so. hours later. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to work on that. All right, guys, so let us show you where we're at right now. Clance is kind of cleaning off. We're using this old wood table right now because my good metal table that we do all of our, most of our metal working on is currently occupied with pickup build stuff. So here's where we are. So we've got our pieces trimmed down to the right height. Um, they're bent and got holes drilled in them where they're supposed to be. <coughs> we had a slight mistake. So let me show you right here. So these holes were blown in with the plasma cutter that cut out the shapes. And I gave a wrong measurement to my guy. They were, it was an inch off, so we had to go back in and drill this hole. That's why this one's here. Normally I would say, hey, I'm not gonna put that on there or I'd weld it up and grind it out, but we don't have time for that. We're just trying to get done. Um, these things, when you look at them, they're both gonna set in just a hair. And the reason we did that is when you look here on the Can-Am, from the outside rail here to the up here to the roll cage, it's it's inset, so we're gonna set them in. That way when it's riding, it doesn't, you don't see daylight through there, it's gonna kick it over. What? We're gonna have to cut these at an angle. Um, I think it'll probably be all right. Okay. We might need to though, huh? What Clance is saying is, is you see that little gap right there? Well, these bars right here are going to go up at the top and run all the way across, and that's going to make, let's, uh, let's hold it up over here. So they're going to sit in here like this. Your splat? Not exactly, but well, we might be better up to mock it up on the, well, it's flat. On the deal. Um, but th those will both go in there and then we're going to put a piece of expanded metal in the bottom and it'll be a shelf. Where's the expanded metal at? Uh, it's over behind my toolbox. Alright, so we're going to do a little tinkering and when we get it all kind of tacked up and show you what we're working with, we'll come back. Well, y'all, I think you can see it's starting to come together. We've got the side pieces welded up. We've got the supports run across. We've got the wire fixing to get it welded in there. And then Clance over here. I don't know, what, what are you doing? Trying to get that paint that went through that cup off the table. Just get a paper towel and wipe it off. So he had done been doing some painting on his pickup tonight on some... Don't blame this on me. I'm not blaming it on you. But, so we had some some reducer here that went mixed into our paint and we had it sitting in a plastic red Solo cup and it ate through it on my welding table. But that's good enough, just we'll, we'll grind it off. Good thing about metal tables is you can just grind it right off of them. So, the, what's going in next is we're gonna have some little cross braces and I'm gonna, maybe it won't be too dark, that are gonna go from like here down to the corner and that'll keep it from wanting to wiggle side to side. And then I've got some little, I may weld them in there. I've got some little of those metal deals that you put on <coughs> like pipe fence, the whole wire, those little kind of hook looper shaped deals. And I, on my other ones, I had those welded in there as little hooks so you could tie down stuff to it, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not, so. Um, I'm going to get in here and get this welded up so Clance ain't yelling at me. 
hurry up, get something done. He's he's getting ready to go in the house. He's kind of. Also, it's literally one a.m. You ain't gonna be doing nothing but looking at your phone anyways. So? Well. That's how I find out for bed. One of these days this will all be yours. You'll thank me for this. grinding what we're gonna do is if you look down under here we're gonna put them in just like this dad what happened right there mm -hmm. I can see a lot of we hair. gotta we gotta do this with it remember something about like that I think we might ought to uh, Put these on the can am before we tack them in. What do you think? That way we don't we keep it like it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's probably all right, don't it? That I say good. we just tack it on the can am. That's hey, that's hot. It's a little hot. You mean put it on the can am and tack it on there? That's what I mean. Yeah, just set it on the back right there where we had it. We can put it on there backwards. And yeah. it'll hold it like it's supposed to. I don't need my glove. I've been holding it for 20 minutes. Got both in? Yep. So. You gonna put the deals on? What deals? The tighten downers. No. Bolt hedges. I think that'll work all right. Oh, let me grab my glove right here. You, you have to roll it on out here some more. You got like a reach. I think if we get this done right now, I'll worry about cutting that other part out later, maybe. Or I can take care of that by myself if you're ready to go to bed. I don't 
want to weld too much in there because I don't want it to burn my buggy. We can take this off and set it over there and I can weld it up now. Be real easy though. Try not hey, let's lift it from up here. And then flip it over on the table. Turn 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 around, I figure. Just flip it over on the table. Grab the grant because you can see the welt. I'm not too worried about that. All right. I don't know what time it is. I think it's somewhere around one o'clock. So maybe three hours of work on this thing. This is the third one of these we've built. We built one originally for our first buggy, and then we built one for my dad's buggy. So let me kind of show you what it looks like. This plant rolls up here. Go ahead and cut it off. So you can see we've got our got our gun racks in there. You see here at the back, see how that how it's got that little swoop right there? Kind of matches the lines of the cab. Got the same thing over here. Clint, show them how that gun rack comes out of there. So if we need this for something besides hunting, gun racks come out, you can put them aside and then slide her back in. See, we just, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up out of the, the light a little bit, there you go. So you can see we just uh, welded us a little deal right in here. I know some of you are gonna say about that we left this hanging down too long, but we can come back and cut that off later. Like I said, we're, in a bit of a hurry tonight so slide right in there and the only thing I don't like right here is they have just a little bit too much play for me um, we'll probably end up just like wedging something in there from the bottom side for for now um, or I might take a clamp and squeeze it really tight from both sides because this little piece of square tubing right here is pretty thin and we could squ I might could just squeeze it really tight with a clamp with a C clamp or a, and see if we can't tighten it up I don't know it'll be all right for it'll be all right for this this quail hunt and here at the old bar seven we love natural rust so we probably won't paint it but we might so uh Y'all want I know y'all are all wanting to see it, so let's check out the weld here. There we go. Not bad for an old country boy. So there it is in all its glory. Guys, girls, people out there on the internet, thank y'all for watching tonight and uh Clance is yawning over here. He's he's trying to straighten up a little bit. I gotta help him get his truck stuff moved back in here. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, thank y'all for subscribing and liking our videos, asking us questions and dropping comments. If uh, is that still wet? Well, I'll help you move the table. Just hang on. Uh, drop us a comment down below if you got any questions or anything we'll try to answer i don't have a pattern for this or anything i mean i just drew it up myself to make it fit um, but i might see if i can figure out a way to make something up there if y'all want to build one yourself so um all right guys y'all keep ranching and uh we'll catch you next time